what a great dream. What a, like, just, I hope I see her again. Uh, oh, Jesus. What are you doing here? Oh, I know what's going on. You want to see what my daily routine is like from morning to night. Okay, all right. Well, this is the morning portion of it. I'm waking up. It's 6.38 um, in the morning, obviously. Still don't know how cold it is. Let's find out. It's a chipper 34 degrees out right now. Not too bad. But I'm going to start waking up here and getting my morning routine underway. Why don't you follow along? Okay, so I'm sitting upright on my bed right now. It is 6.46 a.m. Um, I usually don't wake up this early. I usually wake up like around 7.30. But because I want to get some recording done today, I and I also have to work today, I want to try to fit as much in as possible. So I will wake up and I will sit up here like this. I also have a light right here that I can use. And I have it hung up on a bungee cord. I have the bungee cord from here to here. And then what I like to do is I like to fold up my mummy bag. Fold it three times. Get the mummy bag folded up. And then I get my extra blankets. Only one of which I use really um, at night. Unless I'm layering. I usually will layer if it's below 20 degrees, I will definitely layer, but it was in the 30s last night, which is still chilly, but it wasn't too bad. Like it's cold in here right now, but it's not like unbearable. I don't have frost coming out of my mouth yet. <laughs> Stay tuned if you want to see what that part of the winter looks like. So I'm going to get this other blanket right here. I'm gonna fold this blanket right here. I like to keep it nice and organized, you know? I'll show you what this looks like. All right, so after I have my blankets and my pillows done, um, then I take down my window covers. You can tell it's not freezing temperatures yet because we don't have ice in here. Ah, but it's nice and cold. Dispose of this, good to go. So I take down my window covers and this is when I get to see what kind of day I'm looking at. And right now, it's looking like a nice day. There's no snow, uh, no rain, wind. It's just a chilly November day. Trash from the previous night can go in here. This is what I spit my toothpaste into. I pee into these coffee cups and then dispose of them as needed.
Whew. It is chilly in here, but the car is heating up. Now it's time to head over to the gym, do our morning workout and take a nice shower. And then we will move on to the next step. All right, we got a bit of a drive to get to the gym, so let's go. <laughs> How long does it take you to get to the gym in the morning? Five, 10, maybe 15 minutes? How about 30 seconds? Okay, let's get this workout in. feeling brisk so now I'm gonna head back to the car write in my journal just a little bit do some brief breathing exercises and then it's off to get a coffee and then we're gonna start our work day let's get after it We are officially in gig mode, just got our first order of the day. We're gonna swoop down there like an eagle, catching its prey, and we're gonna get this work day going. I have a goal set for today, nothing too crazy, because I'm also filming today, so I don't wanna overload. So I have a reasonable goal to hit today, and uh, follow along. All right, we gotta break out the artillery. All right, so we got our hot bags ready for our work day. We're gonna go in and pick up this first order. Oh, we'll just go ahead and close that. There we go. All right, so we're just gonna post up here for a second and wait for this next banger of an order to come through because I have a feeling it's gonna be a banger. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. But while we're waiting, I wanted to sit here and talk about how long I've been doing gig work and why I do gig work. So I've been doing gig work for just about five years now. I started out doing rideshare for Uber and Lyft 
And ever since I moved into my car, it's been strictly deliveries. I do Grubhub, DoorDash, and Uber Eats. It's working for me. Uh, it's perfect for my current situation. You know, obviously I can't be doing rideshare. I can't have people sitting on my bed back there. It would be very cozy for them, but you know, it's against the rules. I also have a little side hustle going on as well. I work for an entertainment company based out of Massachusetts. Shout out Good Thomas Entertainment. And that kicks in a few bucks every week as well. For the most part, my income is all deliveries right now. Even before I started doing rideshare, I was in business for myself. I had a little entertainment company when I lived in Massachusetts and um, I did pretty decent with that. I like the freedom and flexibility that comes with gig work. I can work as much or as little as I need to work. I don't have to check in with anyone if I need to take time off or if I need extra hours. I can stop my shift and go pick my son up from school and spend a few hours with him and then get straight back to work. Also, I just really enjoy working alone. There's an added benefit to being a nomad gig worker in that most days it doesn't matter where I end up at night because I'm always within at least 10 miles of a Walmart or a truck stop or a rest area or a hotel parking lot where I can set up camp. Then I can wake up in the morning and there's also a plan of fitness close by uh, for me to go there and just start my day up and get on with it. The downsides of gig work is that we have to set aside our own money for taxes and vehicle expenses. We have to get our own health insurance and secure our own retirement as well. But that's not to say it can't be done. As long as there's money coming in, I can put that money in the right places and make the right choices and not blow it on booze and bullshit like I did for so many years. I'm late to the party, but better late than never. Most importantly though, I enjoy doing this kind of work and it's very low stress for me. I get to get outside every day and see new places and see new faces. And I enjoy driving. I actually find driving to be quite therapeutic uh, at times. So, you know, if I can have all those things and make an honest living doing it, why not? So let's move on with the day. I just jumped back here because it's time to make a little something to eat. So uh, let's make a PB and J. Went a little heavy on the on the jelly here, guys. Went a little heavy on the jelly, but that's all right. We're gonna survive. I'm feeling rectangles today. I usually do the triangle, but I'm feeling the rectangle today. Mmm. It is very windy and very chilly out today. We'll just finish this, chill out, and then get back to it. These come in very handy, trust me when I tell you. This is how I wash things. Here. I need to get some uh, groceries. That's another video. Lint roller for any crumbs that make their way off the tray. You know, we just can't be having crumbs on our mattress, man. I mean, it looks pretty clean, but you know, let's just hit it to be, to be extra, all right? Three cleaning tools you will never see me without. Paper towels, the baby wipes, and the lint roller. All right, let's go to cellos. city. I 
those are the only words I know. All right, let's keep her moving. Let's keep her moving. All right, just got an order at Jersey Mike's here. Is it just me or is Jersey Mike's the best sub shop on the planet? I know my son would agree with that because we go twice a week, but what do you think? busy. Let's hope we can get in and out fast. All right, we're doing good so far. It's 639. The temperature is dropping. It's in the low 30s right now, and it's gonna fall into the 20s tonight, but I'm ready for it. Um, and we're doing pretty good with our work day. I thought that because I was working on recording this video today that it would slow me down, and it has a little bit, but we're doing pretty good. I set my goal for 150 today. I usually set it for 200 on Sundays, but we are very close to hitting that 150 mark. And again, it's only six, 640, so. Uh, let's continue on. Here we are at D'Angelo's Grill Sandwiches, another sandwich shop that can't compete with Jersey Mike's. Right, you sit right there. All right, here we are in Providence, Mi Establo Restaurant, okay? Let's get this order. I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'm gonna bring you with me. And then we're gonna go set up camp and I'll show you what it's like to end the night living in your car. Let me tell you something. <laughs> it is cold out here tonight. It'll be nice to kind of just heat the car up, uh, put up all the covers and get settled in. I'll have a quick dinner, watch some Netflix, and um, I'll be jumping into this mummy bag and getting nice and warm and I'll be good to go. All right, so let's do it. Okay, let's move it, let's move it. That was a decent day today. Okay. Let's get a little something to eat. Got a small pork fried rice, got my water. Let's go to camp. All right, so we are in position, and now it's time for stealth mode. When I snap my fingers, everything will be set up. I will be sitting in the back, ready to eat, rest, and entertain myself. Are you ready? Here we go. 
Holy crap, I'm in the lounge. This is awesome. All right, let me show you what I got going on here. Okay, so here I am sitting in the back. This is a point of view. I got my lights on and the doors. I have my hanging lamp right here, which I hang right here on the bungee. Okay, I've got my dinner, which I'll be making in just a second. I got my water full up, ready to go. This is my entertainment. I got my Netflix right in front of me. And I have the car running. Uh, the heat is on low at the moment. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, have something to eat, watch some Netflix. And when I'm ready to go and jump in the back here, I turn the car off and it's night night. So as you can see here, with a little bit of effort, you can turn your the back of your car into a very cozy space, um, as I have done here. And uh, you can make the best of it, guys. All right, we're living large in here. Let's uh, eat some dinner, watch some Netflix, and uh, I'll take you to bed with me. Okay. So I just got a small pork fried rice for tonight. Um, I do spend a lot of my hard-earned dollars on restaurants, stuff like that. But, you know, when it comes to like making smaller meals like cereal or peanut butter and jelly, I have that on board whenever I need it. Or canned foods or whatnot. Apples, bananas. Um, I gotta go grocery shopping, but this is gonna do it for tonight. I've been meaning to get a portable stove and see how that works. I just never got around to it. It's something I procrastinated. I think it would I think it would be a benefit to have a portable stove here so that I could cook a few things, um, maybe even some soup, some some like oatmeal and whatnot. So it's definitely on my list. When I do get a portable stove, I'll definitely bring you along with me and we'll see what kind of meals we can cook. But for now this is gonna have to do it. And uh I'm watching Dead to Me on Netflix right now. I'm on season three. I feel really bad for what happened to Christina Applegate. Um, she's an awesome actress. So we're gonna continue watching this show. Not right. And uh, yeah, that's how we roll. All right, so I just had my dinner. I watched a little bit of Netflix, but I'm not done yet. Believe it or not, there is a final stage to this. I'm gonna move it into the bedroom area and I'm gonna move some things around and that will be my last place of the night. I'm gonna continue to watch some Netflix and then after that, it's lights out. So let's get set up in the back, in the, in the back back. <laughs> And that is how I brush my teeth. We'll throw this away in the morning. And that'll be that. Now let's go back there. All right, I might as well show you this little area real quick. So this is my um, main toiletries for toothpaste and other items in here. I usually just keep that right here. Underneath here, I have extra storage. It's kind of like a medicine cabinet. I've got other toiletries and medicine stuff in there. And then under here, I have more clothes. Even in this little uh, compartment, I have things like, you know, tape and whatnot. In here, um, scarves, gloves, you know, other clothing items. And this is the one I use the most up here. This is where I keep all of my underwear and t-shirts all in here. Very handy. And then up here, I can store my, um, my Jackery power station. And this is where I will be putting my iPad in just a second as well. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. I'll move my iPad right here so that I can watch this in bed. And then I have more storage over here, like these, um, like a small little cabinet thing. Put my glasses in here, other miscellaneous items. And then down here, I just keep paperwork um, and documents right here. And that is guarded very heavily by Leo and Donnie down here. So don't be trying to go up in here. Let's lock ourselves in. All right, so here I am in the back. I am ready for the night. As you can see here, let me just turn this around. I can stretch out all the way. There's my feet. 
Okay, that's what a Subaru Outback is all about. You know, there's just so much space back here. It's a hatchback, so. And what I like about it is I can stretch out here, but I also have a seat so I can go and sit down over on this side. And when it's time to um, say goodnight to myself, I just turn off this lamp like this. Bang, done. I've got other lights right here. I can just turn those off, boom. And here I am in the dark now. Got my little uh, nightstand over there. Let me turn this light back on. See what I mean? So guys, it's definitely doable. It is, um, it's 30 degrees outside and it's, it's gonna be colder. Uh, I'm not cold at all right now. I heated the car up before uh, I came back here and um, engine's off. So it's just me. If it was under 20 degrees, I would be wearing my hoodie, most likely. But I am in my sweats and my t-shirt and I have my socks on and that's all I need to stay warm tonight. I'll wear my beanie throughout the night as well. And just to add, I am inside a mummy bag. This is a zero degree mummy bag. Without this mummy bag, I would not be able to do this. I had to learn that the hard way. Um, the first week of my journey, I did not have a mummy bag and it was the beginning of January. It was hell. And when I got the mummy bag, everything just kind of came together. And that's, that's going to do it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed following along. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.